is Business Rockstars. Business Rockstars coming to you from Los Angeles, California, connecting you to everything entrepreneur. I love that, connecting you to everything entrepreneur. We got a pretty big responsibility to make sure you feel you're never alone when it comes to getting your business going. There's so many people like you out there that are trying to make it happen, but come to us. We're here to help you do that. Businessrockstars.com is the website. We're streaming the show live right now. And if you take a peek in the studio, you'll see we have this gigantic ensemble of, of beautiful china glassware, and it looks like a, a wooden something thingamajig. I have no idea, but the guy that does... Uh, is you have a last name of an apple. <laughs> That's you correct. know, and Jeff McIntosh is joining <laughs> us. Hey, Jeff, you are the tea guy. I am the tea guy. What's the name of your company? Uh, tea Book. That's a good name. This is my third tea company now. Third? Third tea company. I mean, you're hardcore. <laughs> and I, I found out how young you are. It seems like you've lived multiple lives to get to where you're at today. Is that right? That's very true. I'm only 25 years old. 25 years old, and this is your third tea company. Third tea company. Okay, what's this obsession with tea? <laughs> Um, well, it all started a while ago when I was very young. I was about 16 years old. I was living a fairly self-destructive lifestyle, going to college, had a full-time job, um, and I went to a tea shop by accident, and they offered me a cup of loose-leaf tea. And I sat there and I drank it, and for the first time in a long while, this huge weight was lifted off Can my shoulders. Can we briefly just describe, you were in a bad place. I was, I was, in a, I was worse than a bad place. How bad is bad? Um, it was, it was self, very self-destructive, well, addictions, you and... You, you, were, you were on drugs? I mean, there was drugs and alcohol involved. So you were living the rock and roll lifestyle sure, in a bad uh, way, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, rock and roll, college, <laughs> young guy, right? I'm like, woo! I got a nice paying job, so... Reese, you got a gig, you're going to school, you have a paying gig, and you were doing everything bad for your body. Yeah. Did you know you were in a bad place? Um, there were signs. No, but did you know? I mean, 16 years old, generally you don't know what's going on. Oh, no, I was on. having time in my life. So you, things <laughs> were going great, probably, why would this at 16 really matter then? Um, I think there was just an overburden of stress and pressure that I didn't know how to deal with, so those were outlets. And so when I had a chance to actually be calm for a moment and drink that tea, it really brought a lot of realization and clarity. Okay. Um, so after really? that first cup, I, two weeks later, I dropped out of school, I quit my job, and I got off of almost everything. Well, it's generally what happens when you're on everything is when you <laughs> drop out of school, right? So you, you felt like you were inspired by what you experienced. It, it gave me hope and clarity. And I didn't know where I was going to go. I just knew I was going to have a cup of tea in my hand. It sounds kind of crazy. It does sound a little crazy. So you're sitting there going, I'm going to quit everything and pursue tea? Pursue tea. And like there was a little tea shop. I wasn't going to get paid. I was going to do it for free. I had no plan. Six months later, I get invited to go to China for two weeks. It ends up being close to a year. Because you were so passionate about it, right? I, I loved it. I was so passionate about something, nothing was going to stop me. So you're at what a sommelier would be for wine. You're at that for tea. Sure, absolutely. You, you agree with me that. on that? Mm -hmm. And when you meet sommeliers with wine, they are into it. It's not just about the taste. It's about the history and the lifestyle that goes along with it. Absolutely. Right? And with tea, there's so much culture. I mean, oh. you, more than 4,000 years of history. More th yeah, more than, most people have to understand. When we talk about teas, there's, I think, what, there are five different types of teas? Sure, five broad categories, you can say. Five broad categories. White, green, oolong, red, and also a poor tea. Yeah, which I like. That's an aged tea is what it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, it can get pretty expensive if you want to start playing in that space. It can. I actually saved one special agarwood oh. poor tea just really? for the show. We haven't tried okay. it yet. I'm hardcore on this <laughs> with you, but I, I don't Good. do the lifestyle side because sure. you're into it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're, 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 please don't take this wrong. You're almost at the nut job level of it, okay? Which is a compliment sure. from me because you are so into it. You've built a business around this. Absolutely. Your business is doing really well. It's doing, it's doing well. <laughs> Again, it's called? <laughs> it's called T-Book. Is it T-Book.com? T-Book.co. .co. Someone else has got .com, really? Yep. Well, no, there's someone sitting on it. We've been after them for a long time. We just said we got enough traction. Now we don't okay. need to worry about it. .co. If you go to <laughs> T-Book.co and put the promo code ROCKSTARS. And you get a 20% off. In Anything on our site. And understand, you do a monthly subscription. We do. Because we do know, like, I'm a little intense with it. I'm a little too crazy. I know I, I it's, a, it. I know I it's it. a little weird. So tea book is enabling people to enter that world of tea without the complications. All okay. of our tea is pre-portioned. You open a packet. We give you a double wall glass tea tumbler with filter for free. It's yours, the first box, because it gives you a tool to drink that tea. Wow. So you don't have to think about it. It's convenient. It's easy. It tastes good, and it's affordable. How long have you been doing this? Um, less than eight months. Tea book's really, really new. And it's profitable. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I it's, it's fast. I mean, I'm a simple guy, so just get good tea to people. 
Good, yeah, but you go into the zones. You get this directly from the actual fields where the teas are grown. Absolutely. So we have uh, 36 different gardens in seven provinces. I have a number of partners. I've been going to China four to five times a year for so more than six years. So you're specifically playing with green and oolong, right? Is that the areas that you're um, using? Well, tea book, it's white, green, oolong, and red. Okay, got it. And okay. every month you're getting a new variety of tea. So you can explore Directly those. from the source? Directly from the source. How did you financially create this? Um, so it was actually pretty simple in the beginning because we worked so closely with the farms and this is my third company. Other companies did well, but they weren't scalable. And I said, how can I get more tea to more people? So I went over to some of my partners and I said, hey, I have a fantastic idea of getting this tea. Can you just front me the tea? Give me 60 days, I'll pay you back. Oh, um, because you had the relationships. Yep, yeah, relationships you, really strong. You also speak Mandarin, right? I do, correct. Okay, so which helps? It, it, if I couldn't do that, I would have some bad tea. <laughs> right, because you understand, again, the culture and, and the respect that you have to give to these growers. Yeah, it's really important not to only speak the language, but also get in touch with the culture and the business understanding. Which you've done. Yeah. So you found a way to get terms, basically. You got a net 60 on when you had to pay them back. A little bit, and it's more based on trust. So there's no contracts involved, but very similar. Very similar. Mm -hmm. And you took that net 60, those terms, and how did you apply that to grow this business? Well, once you have an inventory, that's a huge cost, especially in retail. And so the next thing is essentially bootstrap e-commerce. So how much in inventory did you get without having to pay for it up front? Just give me a, a dollar amount, an idea. Uh, roughly $20,000. $20,000 of tea inventory. Sure. Now what you had to do is you had to somehow leverage the inventory to customers and people out there. How did you do that? Um, well, luckily I have this huge following with tea, but it was more high-end, and so there's a lot of appearance. The first thing I did, because I'm not a tech guy, I'm very old-fashioned with tea, is we went to every festival. So I went out there and I started oh. to ask everyone. I said, hey, his tea book is fantastic, try it, 50% off, and I went to everyone I knew. I called everyone, I handed cards, I said, do you like it? We will go online and test it out, buy it. Um, and if you'd love it, just give me your credit card now, we'll ship it to you when we're ready. Um, and once I got more than 100 people, I'm like, well, this is ready to go, let's set up a distribution center. It was that easy? Yep. Over what type of time parameter? That was probably about a month. A month, but you worked your butt off, sure, right? Yeah. Were the festivals really a great connection point with your customers? That actually is where 99% of our customers come from. Because there's an experience that you provide, okay? It's not just about the tea. You understand what I'm saying? And Absolutely. what we're gonna do is we'll, we'll take a break a little later and when we come back, you're gonna show us that experience. But the experience I think is part of what you're selling. It is, because tea, especially high-end loose leaf tea, you get such an emotional connection with it. It's not a commodity. It's not. It's an experience, just like you said. That mm -hmm. experience and that touching the consumer is so important. And I think more and more millennials are starting to want that inspiration. They want that moment of mindfulness in the midst of our hectic and stressful life. And I think tea can do that offline. If you go through the process to which you'll demonstrate. Correct. It, it's almost a point of meditation is what I see. When someone gets a brand new bottle, or excuse me, an old bottle of wine that they open up and they pour it and they smell it and they let it sit and they tell the story, there's a kind of a meditation direction there too. Yours is much more zen, which is ironic because it is a Buddhist environment where sure. a lot of this tea is used. Absolutely. Um, and it does play on a lot of those factors where wine, there's a particular place and setting. Mm -hmm. where there's so many varieties of tea and so much history and different ways to prepare it, there can be different settings for tea. As you started this new business, what has been the biggest hurdle besides getting your terms, your net 60? Um, well, I, I understand China really well and I understand the business aspect and tea. I have a very difficult time with IT and essentially anything e-commerce related, anything mm -hmm. technology. So my whole philosophy is get people that are smarter than me. I need to be the dumbest person in the room at all times. So I say, do you love it? This is my story, this is where we're going. I think there's a huge opportunity here and I get the best people on the team. They but you had to pay for them. Where did you get the money to pay for them? Well, in the beginning, you can't really pay for them. So you have to build trust. So a lot of these people really helped us out because they believed in the vision. So it's just starting to network. It's amazing what people will do if you can build a good relationship and be honest and really tell them about the. You came down from Seattle. Yeah. Is that a T part of the world? Is that a good spot to do this in? I definitely think the West Coast is very much more into the high end loose leaf teas. Really? California and Seattle, more so. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got into teas being in Chicago, but I'm, I guess I'm a strange individual. But being in Seattle, is there a benefit for you being up there more than anywhere else? I'm just um, curious. That's for the weather, right? And the people. Because it's cold and it's rainy yeah. and everyone wants warm tea. And we're a little bit more passive, so we, we enjoy those moments at home and in, cl in close environments, so. And I'm going to try to ask you a technical question without uh, getting too techy. <laughs> sure. When you decided on your e-commerce direction, 
Did you pick something like Shopify or something like that? Do you know what you're using? Sure, because we're a subscription service, right. and I went through everything. There's Shopify, and I spent hours and hours, and I just had a headache, um, and none of them fit. Did so what did you, you find? Create Joy. So Create Joy is an uh, e-commerce platform built only for subscription companies. Oh. So they have referral, for referral programs built in. Like, it's so nice. Like, it was out of the box, ready to go to help you going? Completely out of the box. And what's the cost for you to use that? Do you know? Um, it's very similar to Stripe or so Shopify. So it's a small percentage, percentage that you, from every purchase, goes towards them. Yep. But they handle everything. Yep. And I even wanted to build a website on top of that that was nicer. Mm -hmm. So they have website development teams. I built an entirely, incredibly beautiful website for like less than $2,000. That's amazing. Yeah. So really, your biggest job is to make sure you're curating the T's properly. You don't really work, worry about the tech side. Nope, it's pretty automated at this point. So your company right now consists of who? Of mostly T lovers. It's all, no, 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 all, no. All, all exactly how many, sir. Many? Right now, it's only two people. Two people? Yeah. At our highest point, we had about six or seven when we were building that foundation, but they were just contracted for a month. And now it's just you and somebody else. Yeah, as an assistant who works maybe five, ten it's hours a month. your assistant. Yeah. But you're the full-time individual. Yeah. And then you go to China, I think you said, what, four or six times a year? Yeah, four and times that, a year. And that's to curate your inventory. It's to curate inventory and also really make sure those relationships are still strong. So Because you have to do that. Yeah, to really make sure and also continue sourcing. And so, so, Jeff, what are you doing to make sure you have a competitive edge against everybody else? Um, well, one is quality, and I think with tea, there's a lot of armchair experts, and there's a lot of what's the new standard of tea, and we're keeping it really simple, right? We need to make find really clean tea. Yes. It needs to be really affordable, and it needs to taste great. And people have to understand, when you get, like, green tea, you'd be pretty shocked at how many real green tea leaves are even inside that packet. Yeah. So when we come back, what I'd like to do is, can you give us kind of that direction on how to appreciate tea and understand where the business is by going through that experience? You cool with that? Absolutely. Yeah, let's do that. Again, if people want to find out more, the website is? tbook.co. And? And if you use the code ROCKSTARS, you get 20% off anything on our website. It's a great deal. Sounds like there's a good markup on your side. Well, it's healthy. Say yes, it's <laughs> healthy. <laughs> so, so when you go to Starbucks, do you ever go to Starbucks? Sure, if I have to. Do you, do you get a tea? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I get hot water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll come back. Yep. We're going to go through the tea experience and understand that a lot better. I'm Ken Rakowski, connecting you to Everything Entrepreneur right here on Business Rockstars. This is Business Rockstars. Ken Rakowski coming to you from Los Angeles. We are talking about business entrepreneurship, connecting you to all of those, making sure you don't never ever feel alone. Businessrockstars.com is your one-stop shop for everything that's entrepreneur. Standing next to me, we're trying something brand new, is uh, Jeff McIntosh, and his company is? T-Book. T-Book.co, and it's all about tea. And what we decided to do is do a quick education on tea. Now, if you get a chance, go to our website right now because you have a whole spread here. What do you got in front of us? What is all this? Sure, so this is more of a traditional tea setup. This okay. is something that not most people have Do you sell home. all this, everything we see? Not yet. We are opening a retail store. You'll see this. Okay. Um, tea Book is a lot more easy, so you can have this same experience in an easy convenient travel way. So the, the, this, so right now, by the way, I want everyone to understand, when you think about tea, you probably think of a tea bag, okay, which is very commercialized. It's been around in the UK, really brought it to the States. Uh, we're not talking about it. We're talking about loose teas. Loose leaf teas. Okay, loose leaf teas are, um, you have to brew them yourself. It takes a little more time. It's not as um, commercially ready. Sure. Right? Do you read me on this? There's a little bit more preparation involved. And Tea Book is taking away all of those kind of hurdle points with tea, which is like tea to water ratio, how long do I steep it, how much tea do I use. And so Tea Book, all we do is we just send you a new thing every month. All of our tea. This is 25 bucks, right? 25 bucks. Okay. And your first one, you actually get a double wall glass tea tumbler. That right? comes with it on your first one. Right. That's, you, that's smart. You've got to have a tool, right? Okay. And all of them are pre-portioned, so it's just green oolong. But if you're a tea expert, you're like, where's my tea coming from? We tell you the Chinese name, English name, the city, the province, and the country where it's from. Oh, that's and the water great. temperature. So everything you need to know. How long did it take for you to realize you needed to put all this on there to really connect with the customer? So with a lot of my other companies, everyone loved this experience because you would serve tea like this in front of them. And they would love it. And they would say, how does this fit in my life? This seems very complicated. Do I have to buy all these things? And it ends up being hundreds of dollars. Mm -hmm. But really, if you can just say, hey, here's your tea. It's already measured. Put it in a cup. Add the water temperature. You're done. You're okay. ready to go. And there's even a filter so you don't have to worry about getting leaves in your mouth. Wow. Um, so it makes... Loose leaf tea, just as easy as a tea bag. Only been doing this business for eight months. Yeah, really fast. And you're making money. 
we'll make money. <laughs> you know, you, by the way, you mentioned you have one of your advisors, actually a close friend of mine, Shaheen Shahin, who uh, is one of the largest matcha tea um, sellers on Amazon. He's doing a fantastic job on Amazon. And, and matcha is a little different, okay? I mean, this is a little packet, and you, sure. you can put it in smoothies and anything yeah. you want. We're talking a little highbrow on this, aren't we? What you, you're doing? Sure, you could say highbrow. Do you not like to say that? <laughs> yeah, but T-Book makes it so it's not highbrow. Okay, so let, let's go through some of this experience real quick. Okay. You uh, you poured some water inside this. I just did, warmed up the cup, washed okay. it a little bit. We're doing a very, very special tea here. This isn't even released yet. It's a very limited edition. Explain what we have. This is an agara wood, ripe pour. Now, agara wood is a very, very rare wood from Vietnam. So it's an owl's wood tree that gets infected with a parasite and then develops a barrier. Then this wood is removed and it's used as high-end incense. So we source that wood from Vietnam. Then the poorer tea is coming from Ling Chung. It's a bud pour, so it's very rich, very mm -hmm. aromatic. And then this is getting processed in Taiwan. This is a very, very expensive tea, one of the most expensive teas we actually offer. But um, and it's all the, all the material sourced from 2013. And this will get better as you age it. Yeah, it's, it's like a wine. It, it, uh, wow. So you can see the wood. Right? Yeah, you can see. So I want people to see this. Hopefully, we could, I'm not sure if we could Go for it. see this. This is, this is a tea, everyone, mm -hmm. the way it's set up. And it looks almost like a, a dirt. <laughs> a the, little bit, sure. It does, it looks like dirt. <laughs> so you're going to now prepare this by cutting it. Yep, I'm gonna pry off a small amount. We're looking at about eight grams for a pour of tea. This is so different than what you would expect when it comes to tea. This is preparation. This is exactly what you're saying on the, the Zen, oh, I said on the Zen side. Yeah. Okay, and you're, look at, you, you got everything. You has got every tool, and you sell all these things. All these things, you could go on the site again, yep. tbook.co and use the promo code ROCKSTAR and get a discount. You're pouring this inside, it, no water yet. Not yet. The water is not in there. And this is what you're saying where people are appreciating the, the whole task of doing this, right? Absolutely, there's definitely a whole kind of lifestyle and feeling. And this can kind of get you into the whole kind of mode of calming yourself down. And this is where this tea has really helped my life. It's yeah, like a practice. I'm trying to tell you, it's like meditation. Yeah, All just right. about. Putting it away. So we'll put this one aside. And by the way, just give people an idea how much these type of teas can run. This one is actually probably close to $500. Yeah. For 200 grams. This is not a... <laughs> a lot of these guys are looking to go, wait a second. I know certain <laughs> drugs <laughs> are cheaper than that. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And then so we're going to add a little bit of water. What we're going to do is wake up the tea just so we can release that aroma. And then we can appreciate the aroma before we even drink it. Don't you love this type of business? Okay, now it, I'm you're, 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 this is the waste. It's going inside this porcelain. And I'm going to let you smell that, and oh, you can okay. just lick the small thing. thing. Oh, yeah, that smells sweet. awesome. Oh, yeah, it's sweet. It's got a, a, a musky uh, wood smell to it, too. I mean, you're into it now. I just cool. saw you do that. You That's had a religious good. experience just now by smelling it. <laughs> you yeah. did. That was the moment I needed <laughs> for the day. <laughs> really? That's all it took? Yeah. But this, this agar wood took me, this tea took me over three years to source all the material. To find this. Yeah, because the first time I had this tea, it just, it was unbelievable. I had that a moment of that agar wood, creamy, sweet, rich aroma that you can only usually get in high-end incense. And you can't find this stuff in most retail. This is hard to find. This particular tea, you probably can't find anywhere in America. Only at... Tea at teabook. It's limited edition. You might actually have to email us. We haven't put it on the site yet. Really? <laughs> yeah, we only have about 50 of these cakes okay. that were produced. Now, we got about a minute and a half left. All right. We got enough time? That's all right, because now we're, now we're brewing the tea, and we're going to enjoy it. How many t um, how many uh, servings can you get out this of it? This can do about 10 infusions. 10 infusions, okay. So you can bring a cup over here. Let's, let's, let's celebrate this together. Yeah, and the first uh, steep will be a little bit light, and the tea will progressively get stronger the more you steep it. All right, it. I'm going to take a... There we go. Hey, let's just ting ting. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm taking a sip. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> Yeah, that's awesome, right? Oh, that's good. It's kind of funny, too, because people are listening right now thinking, tea, come on, it has that type of effect. It does. And especially if you appreciate what you just brought out, which is like bringing out a fine wine. Absolutely. That's been aged. You know, this right here is about $500, just that bag right there. So we've opened up a pretty great bottle of wine <laughs> that's tea. Again, people want to find out more, you go to? Teabook.co. You can use the code ROCKSTARS and get 20% off our website. And if you want this experience, but it looks a little bit overwhelming, just grab up for our tea book, which is our pre-portioned packets and tumbler, and you can drink tea anywhere you are. Anyway, and this also will grow the website. More and more teas will be added. Mm -hmm. Jeff, I appreciate you coming down from uh, Seattle, hanging out with us. Thanks. Good uh, luck with this. I always love being in LA and drinking tea with great people. Uh, all right, I'll go find some for you. Uh, <laughs>